fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Now this one complete on the slant route. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Burrow. He gets this one to Boyd. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And Burrow's saying, let's go, let's go. Throwing Burrow. And that's caught one more time by Boyd. Now the Bengals urging everybody to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now Burrow. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Burrow. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Here we go. It's Burrow on fourth down. To the sideline, and he's got it. They say the feet are down. Yes, the line judge says they're in. That'll be a first down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. To throw, Burrow. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good, and we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. Rookie Trevor Lawrence of the Jaguar offense ready to take over. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. And this is going to be intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for Bengals TV. I get and appreciate that they wanted to go for the win, not play for overtime, but that's the cost right there. Not so sure their fans feel the same way as you when they just watch that ball get picked and taken the other way. Six. Looks like it's going to be a loss for them. An absolute catastrophe when they tried to be aggressive. Pulls it in at the 13. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. A rookie Trevor Lawrence of the Jaguar offense ready to take over from the 34 now. Here's first and 10. 
Throwing after the interception. Lawrence. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And got his man complete. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Back to throw. They'll drop this one off with ETN. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. Three yards remain for second down. He's back to throw. And he's got the speedster Goodwin. And he is across and in for the score. And now they can tie the game in the final stages with the extra point. Or they can go for two and go for the win. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we may very well be headed to overtime. So right back to square one. Tied at 28 as he kicks it away. Very short kick. This will be now a hit and a loose football. And did the Jaguars come up with it? They did. Yeah, baby. And we've got free football. Four quarters done, and we're dead even. We'll have overtime after this timeout. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. 70 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. On second down, ETN once more. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They go play action with Lawrence. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. It's third and four. Big play here, trying to keep this opening drive of overtime alive. Good one, able to haul it in. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. And it'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it, because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. 
Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. On third and short, going with their tight end. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. And now fourth down. What do you do? And after being stuffed on that play, it puts a little doubt in the minds of a head coach who has the football, I'm sure. Do we go for it here? Or do we take the three points and continue to play on? Because you know he wants to get in the end zone. That ends the game. But I've been on the defensive side before. They've got to be energized right now and almost challenging them to go for it because they've got to be confident. Now the timeout comes here in the waning seconds of this overtime as we could be set up at long last for a potential game winner. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. Now the timeout comes here in the waning seconds of this overtime as we could be set up at long last for a potential game winner. The kick by Carlson is good. And they have regained the lead. But Charles, we saw a comeback bid fall just a little short, but give them credit, they were able to hold on, withstand that comeback, and ultimately win it by the slim margin. And bottom line, when it's all